There's a minimally invasive treatment, which we do, called gonadal vein embolization. And embolization is basically a catheter-based technique where we plug up abnormal vessels, arteries, or veins. And in this particular situation, what we do is we, under local anesthesia, possibly with some mild sedation, we get into the venous side of the bloodstream, either through the femoral vein in the groin or through the jugular vein in the neck through a little tiny incision. And then we thread our catheters through the renal vein and then down the gonadal vein and then we close off the vein. There's a number of ways to close off the vein. The current preferred technique that I, I like to use is that we deploy or place some coils. A coil is a wire that has little fibers on it and as it comes out through the catheter it forms a round coil like a little pig's tail and after you put one or two of those in we then will inject a sclerosin or a chemical much like you would use for sclerotherapy of leg varicose veins but we put it in the gonadal vein and that kills the vein wall but in addition it goes through little tiny secondary branches those branches are actually what cause some of the recurrences with surgical ligation and so this is a second technique other than the coils to help make sure we're killing all the abnormal veins in the gonadal vein. And at the end, the bottom line is that when a patient stands up, the vein is closed and it no longer fills the varicose veins in the scrotum. And so they decompress. And so the, the unsightly veins, the pain from the varicosities goes away. And in a lot of cases, the sperm count and the motility may improve.